Peace to everyone who is watching and listening to me right about now. I have a very exciting word just for you. Some of you just woke up in fear. Some of you woke up trembling. Some of you are not even aware that the thing that is bothering you right now, actually, you have authority over it. That which you were afraid of could actually be afraid of you. Listen, God does not want you to fear. God does not want you to give in to fear. Because fear is a weapon that the enemy uses against the children of God. My brothers and sisters, the Bible says it clear that for God did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of a sound mind. So it is important that in everything you do, you are courageous, that you have faith over fear. This is why I release these videos on a daily basis, so that your faith is built up. Because some of you are surrounded with situations. You are surrounded by people who are always feeding you with fear. Some of the media platforms are targeting you. And their main goal is to put fear in your heart so that you fall down. My brothers and sisters, do not fear because God is with you. In case you think that you are all by yourself, brothers and sisters, let me read to you a very powerful word. The book of Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. It reads, So do not fear for I am with you. Do not be dismayed. For I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. That is a very powerful word. The Lord is trying to tell you that in every circumstance, even when you feel like nobody is there with you. You see, there are situations where someone reaches and he feels like he's all by himself. The Lord is telling you in the scriptures, do not fear because he is with you. There's a scripture that says that the Lord is our present help in times of need. When you need him the most, he will help you. Don't run to your neighbors. Don't run to your friends. Don't run to your family. It is the Lord that will help you. He will strengthen you. Some of you have become weak. But the Bible says it clear. Let the weak say that I am strong. Let the poor say that I am rich. When you find yourself in a situation which is intimidating, which is uh, bringing you down, you have to say it. The Bible says it clear. You shall declare and decree a thing, and it shall be established. Brothers and sisters, I hope this word has blessed you. Until next time, shalom.